Okay, this is part two of simple music theory. Next thing we need to talk about is called a measure or bar, which is a single unit of time which has a specific number of beats played at a certain tempo. As you can see here in example one, there's two measures. Here's the first one, they're separated by bar lines. There's a second measure. The same goes for example two. Total of four counts for each measure, total of two measures. Last term we need to talk about is called rhythm, which is a repetitive pulse or pattern heard throughout the music. So for beginners, we're going to strum our instruments in a certain rhythm or pattern. This is like a drummer. Listen to how this simple rhythm on the drum kit makes you feel like tapping your foot to the music. Start with the bass drum on the beat one and three. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, then add the snare on two and four to the backbeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we'll add hi-hat quarter notes. Another way we're going to think of rhythm is as we count the tempo, we're going to think of the clicking of a clock. But instead of 60 seconds, our clock will count to four. Okay, so here's our clock. One, two, three, four. And one, you'll think, and one and three, you're going to hear ticks. Two and four will be tock. So it'll be one, two, three, four, tick, tock, tick, tock. We have to think about it as musicians, especially rhythm instruments like the ukulele, to sing a song, we're going to be playing these patterns over and over. And I'm going to show you two patterns right now using this clock here. The first one is going to be on every beat, every count. So I'm just going to strum the four strings open. Okay, and then we're going to play a rhythm to that or a strum pattern to the clock. So I'll count to four when we begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. So that was called a quarter note strum or pattern because a quarter note gets one beat or count. Okay, so if we looked at this example number one, this time I'll count to four and I'm going to strum the C and those are strum marks. So I'm going to strum on every count. Okay, I'll count to four. Get your C chord ready and play along. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Looking back on our clock, this time I'm going to play my, I'm going to play the open strings again. This time, I'm going to just strum on counts one and three. Okay, so I'll count to four and we begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. So each strum received two counts because a half note gets two beats or counts. As you can see here, this is a half note. It kind of looks like a D, uh, but it's not colored in. So each half note gets two counts. So now we're going to play example two together with a C chord. Okay, so I'll count to four, then we begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four, tick, tock, tick, tock. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, this are just fundamentals and learning to play music. Once you get these down, we'll be able to move on to learning how to play chords, how to strum along. We'll add different strums down the roads, some uh, more complicated, interesting strum patterns. And we'll also be learning a ton of chords together. So I hope to see you on the next video.